Today, we're going to take a look. We have a, a young rabbit here. This is about eight weeks of age. And right now, we're taking a look at its teeth. Going into the teeth, one of the things you want is you want to make sure the top teeth come down over the bottom teeth. In this particular case, we have a rabbit. It's called malinclusion. And the bottom teeth are actually coming outside the top teeth. And I'm going to try to show you really quick what it is I'm looking at. Now, there are some problems that come with this. Out. Those bottom teeth are coming over the top teeth. If we don't do anything, teeth will continue to grow. They will grow until it literally can't shut its mouth, can't eat, and can't drink. For those of you that have pet rabbits, I'm sure you're just gonna take your rabbit to the vet and you're gonna have the vet take care of it. For those of you that do meat rabbits or do rabbits for show, honestly, a rabbit like this, it's just gonna turn into a meat rabbit or a coal. Or you, you'd, but it's not something I'm gonna suggest you keep and not something I would keep. But today, we're gonna go through and we're actually gonna show you how to go through and treat the teeth and actually trim the and teeth. it may simply be turned into just a, a, a meat rabbit, but we wanna let it grow big enough that it can be eaten uh, and to get some weight on there. But let's go take a look and see what it looks like to get it. Okay, we're getting ready to, to actually trim the teeth of this little rabbit right here. Now, I wanna talk about what I'm gonna do before I do it in preparation. I don't know if you've looked at other videos. This right here, there are a pair of pliers. I'm gonna ask you, please don't use pliers. I've seen more than one rabbit that's had a broken tooth. You take this and put it on a tooth and clamp it down, it'll break the tooth at least a good percentage of the time, allowing bacteria and future problems with the rabbit. Bad idea. I've also seen many of Dremels used or some sort of a saw using something big like this. Now this, I would say, is a whole lot better than using pliers. But today, we're gonna use a diamond bit. This actually is much quieter, oh, wrong one. Much quieter, much smaller. It's not gonna heat up as fast as that. Now you do still have to be very careful when you're using this on the teeth. Don't put it and just hold on the tooth. You sit there and touch it and bring it back, touch it. It's fairly quiet. And so hopefully we can get it done and uh, not startle the rabbit too much. But it'll help the rabbit out and it'll make it to where the rabbit's life can be a lot longer. So let's get started. Now, if you take a look at the way the teeth were before and you take a look at them now, that's gonna give an opportunity for them to grow in. But most likely it'll probably grow back the same way it was. But that's enough, it's gonna eat healthy. The other positive is we catch it as young as it is, it hasn't twisted and deformed those teeth out of shape, so they're still gonna grow in such a way it can eat. Now, if we hadn't done this, it's teeth, they can come out and they can grow, I mean, just literally turn into tusks. And then it takes and it twists right down to the root to the point even after it's trimmed, it never goes back to the way it needs to. It'll also affect the back teeth. Right here is a little blue mini Rex buck, and we're also going to be going through and working on its teeth a little bit. Now this one's a little bit of a different story than the last one. This one had perfect teeth until it bit a cage. And if a rabbit takes and pulls on a cage, you can see it pull its teeth out a little bit. It actually broke a tooth, 
and things have come back just a little bit crooked. So we're gonna go through and we're going to trim its teeth up, give it an opportunity for the teeth to go in correctly. It's all right. It's all right. It's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be just fine. Oh no, it's gonna be fine. You are so cute. Oh, we just want to take a, a peek at your teeth, okay, young man? He says, not today. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, are you today. hiding? Are you hiding? Yeah, really like it's him. It's all right. If you take a look and you see where his teeth have started growing in, it's his top teeth there that broke off. And then it's gave an opportunity for the bottom teeth to grow way too far. And if we take and trim those bottom teeth back where they're at, is the top teeth are coming in, it'll make it to where it'll go just back normal. But we've got to get them trimmed before they create a problem. And I'm taking the, the tool, and I don't leave it on the tooth too long. I touch it and bring it back, because it can heat the tooth up if I don't. And that would create discomfort. But if you can tell, the rabbit's not, not caring. It knows that it, getting the teeth fixed is going to help it. And it doesn't fight it, because it knows that what we're doing is helping it. Malinclusion is a genetic trait that will pass from one generation to the next. I don't suggest keeping rabbits with malinclusion in a breeding program for either meat or for show rabbits, but there are still times it is worth knowing how to trim a rabbit's teeth. If you've got a, a rabbit that's got good genetics that damages its teeth, I hope this video has helped you. If you have a pet rabbit and you don't want to go to the vet every time it needs to have its teeth trimmed, I hope you like the video. Anyway, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment.